Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to the Blended Fields channel. If you are an OG follower here, then you already know our love for the Reagan Sinai products. And if you don't know, then make sure you check out these videos on the screen after you watch this video. So today we're just gonna be showing you a wonderful moisturizing style that is also a protective style so you don't have to worry about doing your kid's hair for a little bit. All right, let's get into the video. So we're starting off by rinsing the hair just to loosen up all of the product buildup and debris that's on the scalp and the hair. Then we are going to go in with the moisturizing black soap shampoo that is made from raw natural black soap. I love this shampoo bottle just specifically because it has a nozzle on it for easy application of the shampoo to get directly down to the scalp. It just makes it so much easier. Now I do still put you know some of the shampoo onto my hand and rub it in just to ensure that everything is coated now because we keep it real over here on the blended fields channel <laughs> I made a mistake and technically I didn't use the shampoo properly which is completely my fault so during the wash the shampoo was just not sudsy as much as I would have liked as you can see of course there were some suds but it wasn't to the amount that I am used to for a shampoo and I also felt like it wasn't getting Ava's hair as clean as it should have so I reached out to the owner and I just let her know my experience and basically what it came down to was that there since there was such a long gap in between Ava's wash days, I should have used a clarifying shampoo first before using the moisturizing black soap shampoo. So this shampoo is a moisturizing shampoo and not a clarifying shampoo, and it's made to put the moisture back into the hair that the clarifying shampoo removed. So if you aren't seeing a lot of suds, then more than likely there's a lot of product buildup on the hair, which means that it's time to be clarified. So I did have to go back into some areas where the scalp wasn't as clean, and then at that point, you know, after a couple of washes, I noticed, you know, more of the suds during those additional washes. But I definitely learned my lesson and I'm gonna do better the next wash day. Next up, we use the avocado and banana deep conditioner. This conditioner has coconut milk, banana, avocado, and organic honey, lots of good stuff within this conditioner. Now, in my personal opinion, it does just have a, a very strong peppermint smell. I don't like peppermint anyway, um, but the smell was just like a little bit overwhelming for me personally. It may not be for you, you may love it, but I just wanted to be honest about, of course, how I feel about all of the products here. But just because I don't like the smell of the product, it doesn't take away from the product itself. So I left the conditioner on Ava's hair for about 10 minutes or so, just while she, you know, continued to play in the shower and wash up. After the conditioner sat, I did do some light finger detangling. So this conditioner, it doesn't have a huge slip. So I did have to use just a very small amount of another conditioner that I had just to kind of give it some more slip for me to do some of that light finger detangling. But again, like the shampoo and me not using it properly. I didn't set myself up for success <laughs> for the shampoo and the conditioner. So since I didn't use the clarifying shampoo, that also affects the conditioner. This again is probably due to Ava's hair not being completely clarified. So the conditioner wasn't able to get deep into the hair strands. So. I am definitely gonna do better the next wash day, like I said before, and I guarantee you if I use the clarifying shampoo and then the avocado and banana deep conditioner, guarantee you that I will have a completely different experience, which I would definitely follow up with you all once her next wash day hits to let you know that experience. I'm pretty sure it'll be a better experience for the both of these products. and conditioning 
conditioning part is complete, we're now gonna get to styling Ava's hair. So we're also gonna be talking about how we layer all of these products to make sure that we are locking in all of this moisture that the products are giving to the hair. So first, I'm gonna apply the Moisturizing Aloe Refresher Spray, which is used to help detangle, lock in moisture, and enhance those curls for your kids. Ava's hair does dry really fast after washing, so the spray really helps to put the moisture back in her hair and make it pliable for going ahead and moving forward with styling. Usually, I would just use just a water bottle filled with water, but the spray can actually replace that water bottle for you. Following the spray, I applied the moisturizing leave-in detangler. I applied a really good amount all over her hair first, and then I went back in to apply the leave-in detangler to smaller sections just to make sure that everything is evenly applied. The spray and the leave-in detangler, I absolutely love. These products, let me tell you, these products instantly softens Ava's hair. The smell of both of these products are nice and light, which I love. And it also helps with the detangling process as well. I then layer everything and lock everything in with a nourishing growth oil. This oil has avocado, grapeseed, and castor oil in it. And it also has a horsetail powder, which I had never even heard of before, but it's an herb that works to strengthen the hair and improve the sheen of the hair. So I thought that was really cool. I apply this oil into each smaller section and then I go in and apply it directly to the scalp. And then I follow that up with just a nice, you know, scalp massage just to make sure that everything is onto the scalp appropriately. And again, this oil bottle also has a nozzle on it similar to the shampoo bottle to just help to get the product directly to the scalp. I am sectioning Ava's hair into smaller sections to get ready to twist. I don't worry about parting or anything for this style, but you can definitely put in some parts if you do prefer a neater look. I then apply the Mango Butter Souffle. This is made of mango butter and lots of wonderful oils and vitamins. We love this product. It is so very moisturizing. And you can also use this on your skin as well, which is pretty awesome. After the souffle is applied to that section, I detangle and then apply the Rosemary Hibiscus Curl Defining Gel. This gel is a little bit on, you know, the thinner side, but the way that it makes Ava's hair feel is so good, so, so good. And it also helps to reduce any frizz. I apply that all to the section and then just start twisting. I repeat these steps all throughout her hair, which is applying the mango butter souffle, detangling, and then applying the rosemary hibiscus gel on top. And if a section is starting to, you know, dry out a little bit, usually I would go in with just a spray bottle of water, but I actually went back in with the aloe refresher spray to wet the section again, which you will see a little bit later on in the video. They just look so juicy. <laughs> They're moisturized and let me tell you, her hair is so soft. This is the one thing that I love about all of these Regan Sinai products. They leave your hair feeling so soft 
and moisturize for days, days. <laughs> so they all just work very well together, especially if you layer all of the products in the right way to maximize the amount of moisture that you get, which I truly think is the key in making any style last. So this is at the two week mark and we had Ava's hair in this half up, half down style with two pigtails. And guess what y'all? <laughs> this is the first time that I had to reapply any products. Yes, two weeks, 14 days later, this is just how good these Reagan Sinai products are with the moisture that they bring and how good they are with locking in the moisture as long as you are, you know, layering the products correctly. Now, sure, could I have added a little bit of product during this time? Could I have applied, you know, a little bit of oil to her scalp? Sure. But did I actually need to? No, I didn't. Now, Ava did have a little bit of moisture during this time, like when she's in the shower, sometimes some water will get on her twist or, you know, the steam from the shower will help to bring in a little bit of moisture, but that was only a small part of it. But as far as the products itself, I did not have to reapply anything during this time. And I get, we all have a preference in how, you know, we do our hair and everybody's hair is different as far as what it needs. So I am just speaking on Ava's experience with, you know, her hair itself, but mind blown with how good these products are. So to refresh, I sprayed her twist with the aloe refresher spray, applied some of the mango butter souffle, and I sealed that in with the nourishing growth oil, which I don't know why I didn't get footage of that for some reason, or it's just gone, but I did apply some growth oil on top of that. I then put her hair back in the same style, but instead of the pigtails, we just did buns. Then we topped it off with some hair accessories and boom, done. In total, Ava's hair was in these twists for about four weeks. And then of course, you know, we did different styles, you know, throughout the four weeks as well. But that is it. Please, please, please make sure that you check out the Reagan Sinai products at ReaganSinai.com. And I have a special discount code for you in the description box below. As always, please let us know if you have any questions or comments and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.